welcome to spring clean part two i am going to be doing a deep clean of my kitchen it has it's funky and i got a lot of new kitchen stuff back here that i am going to be purging some old stuff and putting the new stuff in so make sure you subscribe and hit that like button i'm going to be uploading videos right now two times a week for the time being and i'll let you know when that changes but i'm going to be uploading two times a week wednesday and saturday morning i'm pretty sure so make sure you subscribe to the notification bell on so you don't miss them here we go i just want to go ahead and welcome everybody and thank you for coming back to my channel today i am doing a deep clean of my kitchen and if you're like me i'm completely overwhelmed right now with my kitchen because if you know what's going on out there in the world i'm sure everybody is stocked up and it's just overflowing chaos so i'm going to take time today and go through and get my kitchen nice and clean and straight i'm just going to show you some of the new things i got before i put them back up this is like a baker roller like a rolling pin or like to roll like cookie dough or um pizza dough out a little cake tester some new wooden spoons a scraper and this is like a little tart shaper for like a mini um, muffin pan. So I was excited about that one. But I'm going to go ahead and get all of this back in. And I'm going to organize it. Some of the stuff I'm getting away. Like these are like really old and they're starting to splinter. So these are going to hit the road. And I'm going to get everything put back in. already emptied out this one I have all of our stuff all out on the counter so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did for this one that I did for that one As we were bringing food in, I kind of organized as I went, but my seasonings cabinet is off the chain. They're seasoning all over the cabinet. It's not organized, and it's just a complete cluster bomb. So I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to take the stuff out of this cabinet, and then I'm going to give it a good clean out and try to organize it a little bit better than what it was.
I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you a little trick I learned to clean my microwave and um, you can do it with lemon juice but I'm gonna use the lemon essential oil and what you do is you have a little bit of water in a jar or a little bowl and you add just a few drops two three four I'm gonna add four drops and then you stick it in your microwave It doesn't look that dirty in the camera, but it's really gross. And you're gonna microwave it for two minutes. And it's gonna loosen up everything that's on the walls or anywhere in there. So when that's done, we're gonna, it's gonna easily be able to just wipe on out. You see how easy that just comes right off? Like, it, I'm not kidding. And plus it makes your house smell really good too when you microwave the lemon, it gives it a good fresh scent. But whenever I started doing this, I was really shocked, especially if you have like a really funky um, microwave because sometimes like you when you heat up like chili or pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce it splatters everywhere and then it's a hot mess this trick gets rid of all of that it makes it come right off so you don't have to scrub it forever and ever While I'm cleaning, I really like to listen to music. Um, I have a couple of playlists on my Spotify that I, it's like my go-to for cleaning. So if you have certain songs that you like to listen to or certain types of music whenever you clean your house, go ahead and drop those below because I'd love to add them to my playlist because I feel like I'm starting to listen to the same things over and over and I'm just wanting something new. And I love all types of music so I'm open to anything. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss these videos. I am going to be posting twice a week like I said earlier. Um, I am a teacher so I have been sent home and we are working from home now. So it's kind of, it's really sad because I really do kind of miss my kids and having to get up and go every day and see them. But it's for the best I guess. And plus I'm home with Piper now so we're getting more time together. And I'm still contacting my kids every day and helping them when they need it. And I think they've enjoyed it and I have enjoyed hearing their voices. So I don't really know how long we'll be like this. Hopefully it won't be as long as what is anticipated but we just got to stay positive and have a good mindset and just keep moving forward and be there for one another. And of course, you know, I'm going to use my thieves. And I, in my thieves, I actually did put a little bit of lemon oil in it and change it up a little bit today. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to wipe down all of my cabinets in the handles that are on them just to give them a little shine. I feel like I'm cleaning these a lot more often now than what I normally do. But I don't really care because I just, it just smells so good and just they look so shiny when I'm done with them. If you didn't know this, you can add vinegar to a glass bottle and throw in whatever smell essential oil you would like. I use lemon because it really cuts that vinegar smell and you can spray that and clean your stainless steel with a non-toxic chemical because obviously you're using vinegar and essential oils and they are both natural. This is my favorite way to clean my stainless steel hands down. I have tried so many different products to clean my stainless steel and this is by far my favorite. It's just so shiny and it leaves all fingerprints gone and it is absolutely no streaks whatsoever.
This is also the second video of my spring cleaning series. The first video has already been uploaded to my channel. It is just an in general spring clean of the whole house. So if you're finding motivation from this video to clean your house or ideas, make sure to go check that video out because I have some more ideas in that one and I'm sure you would absolutely love it. And if you haven't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss whenever I post new videos. I will be posting videos of day in the life, routines, cook with me videos, and clean videos. And I really hope that you are enjoying these as much as I am making them. I just really appreciate all of you for liking and subscribing and following me. It has made the biggest difference. These are two pans that I'm actually going to get rid of because they have seen better days. And... This one has buckles, so it's it's not even straight anymore. This is, I, I'm getting a new one of these in the mail in like literally this week, so I'm really sad. I love this pan, but it's it's done. And this one, I feel still think I'm gonna keep it, but I have actually switched to let me show you. I got one of these, and this is a stone. It's stoneware, so I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna try this out. I've never used stoneware before so if you have any tips on stoneware let me know it's like it's a little bit smaller but it's a lot heavier and they said it makes everything cook a lot easier and it's like easier to come off and it's more even heating so i'm really excited to try this and i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna get rid of this or not yet so if you have stoneware leave me your care tips and what's your favorite thing to cook on stoneware is below and as I'm going through and cleaning off the top of my refrigerator, all of this stuff up here that I'm pulling down, I'm actually going to be getting rid of because I got all new everything of it. So I'm really excited. It's always so fun to get new stuff for your kitchen, new little like gadgets and tools. I love it because it just inspires me to cook more and try new things and do new recipes. So I'm really excited to see new things that I'm going to be whipping up and using my quick little tools to help me. I'm also still using my Vanilla Bean Noel Bath and Body Works candle. It is almost completely gone. So I am needing new recommendations for Bath and Body Works candles. So I don't like crazy scents. I like a good, light, fresh, maybe a little citrusy. So I need you to drop below your favorite Bath and Body Works candle for like the spring and summer. Because I am needing to order some more ASAP. done for the day i hope you enjoyed this i hope you found some motivation to get your kitchen clean as well please make sure to subscribe and like this video and don't forget to turn that notification bell on if you have subscribed so we will see you later piper can you say bye piper bye. say bye. bye blow them a kiss all right see y'all next saturday